let's get straight to it. The Nightfall for this week is the Inverted Spire. This has been a Nightfall before, uh, but not with the same modifiers. So the modifiers this week, one, you get your time back by killing enemies, two seconds for killing small enemies, seven seconds for killing the big enemies. You also have slow recharge on your health and shield. Killing enemies drops light orbs, and if you pick that up, it gives you your health and shield back, and also a little bit towards your super. So basically what this means is both your light and your life come back from killing enemies. So the more enemies you're killing, the better. This first area is pretty straightforward. It's still out in the public patrol zone, so things are pretty easy to get. It's not a particularly tough nightfall. You'll see that we make quite a few mistakes, and this is our first attempt at it. Prestige nightfall, first attempt. I do get it. Uh, Terry warned me here not to try the sparrows. I thought I was clever enough to give it a go, and as you see, I was not. So already off the bat, off to a slow start. But again, that didn't stop us from completing the nightfall. So as you saw there, my friends ran ahead. They didn't even stop to pick me up because uh, they wanted to get forward and get those extra kills. And this is one thing. There are a couple of points in this nightfall that suck you forward if you've got one of your team members going on ahead. So we'll get to it later on, but there are a couple of times where it pays to have one person go ahead to get that distance and other people stay behind to clear ads. As you see, they completely missed with a rocket, shot for a second rocket, and a friend took it out. A lot of wasted stuff going on in this nightfall, but again, able to do the prestige first try. Clearing out enemies. Now, it's interesting to think about, if it takes you more than two seconds to kill an enemy, they're not worth killing. So that's really your marker or your measure for whether or not you should be killing or you should be running. Now, when you're trying to get that time up, groups are your friend, groups of enemies. You'll see a lot of these enemies are clustered together. Rockets, grenade launchers. You see here I'm using the raid rocket launcher, which has cluster bombs. There are other <laughs> rocket launchers that also do the same thing, but you can take out large groups of enemies very quickly. This, uh, this particular section, you have to kill the big bad guys. Uh, our friend Terry fell off straight away, so I'm going back to revive him. So again, not a perfect run, not ideal but still able to get it. And you'll see by the end a good amount of time. But if you see down to the left there, lots of grouping up of enemies. The second you have heavy ammo, the second you have supers, dish them out, do what you can to kill the enemies. I uh, got a bit excited there, and again, dying, lady dead as well. Terry was running with Wardcliffe Coil, which was very handy for this. Uh, for this nightfall, does a, does, does a ton of damage and again wipes out large groups in a quick amount of time, which again is what you want. So if it takes you less than two seconds to kill someone, it's worth killing them. If it takes you one shot to take out five enemies, that's a huge net gain of time. The other thing is because enemies are your main source of time, not rings or, or anything else, you can feel fairly confident for quite a lot of the ways with fairly low time. You don't have to worry about running out of rings or running out of anomalies to shoot. There's always enemies around, always ways to add points to your time unless you hit the maximum time. It is possible to kill enough enemies to no longer get time from attacking them, but we didn't hit that. And unless you're stopping and killing every single enemy, you're unlikely to either. Now, you've got to figure out what works best for your team in terms of which groups of enemies are worth stopping and killing. Uh, in this point, it probably wasn't worth us stopping and hanging around to fight. Three enemies, that's six seconds, and it definitely takes more than six seconds for me to take them out. So it could absolutely run past there. <laughs> this section here, there's lots of enemies between you and your objective, but mainly that comes down to how quick can you kill enemies and do you need the extra time. We didn't feel like we did, or at least uh, we thought it would be helpful to send someone ahead. 
So there will be two difficult enemies to kill in this next section. So we usually split up, one person go left, one person go right. Sometimes they're in these buildings, sometimes they're hidden away. I went and looked in on the left, couldn't find the big bad guy, so I went down to the bottom to kill him, sitting and waiting for us. Can't believe I didn't get killed by that cabal coming in and using supers. The faster you can get these big guys down, these two objectives, the faster you can move on. So again, it's that balance between killing ads or getting the objective. And again, I died. So five minutes left on the clock and there's still a ways left of the strike. But because you are consistently getting that timer back up, don't stress too much about it. So once you've killed the two big guys, you activate the switch, which activates the launchers, and you can shoot up onto the drill. Maybe we more of Take out these groups of enemies as fast as you can, and then drop down quickly yeah. into the tell, drill. You know, the next bit is a time yeah, section. You have to activate the switch. Count. You'll see that I'll go for it and just make it. My priority there is getting that switch started as soon as humanly possible. It's, it's a quick switch, even though I died, I managed to get it off. And then you see in the over on the left there, it started with the transit system resetting. So you can't progress until that's fully done. So activating as soon as possible. And then at that point, once you've activated it, you can't move on until the time is done. So all you can do is kill ads. So kill ads as often as you can. You notice there that we had a friend, Night Stalker, use his bow. He's running the uh, exotic boots that give you super energy, the more en enemies you tether. If you haven't seen or used those, they're incredibly powerful. If you get a decent sized group of enemies, you can basically get your super back every time you use it. So we're just raining down the orbs here, back and forth. And again, if you've got a super and a big cluster of enemies, it's definitely worth using it to get those time, that time back and create orbs for your friends. These cluster rockets, and again, all these harpies come in. This is a great opportunity here to get a lot of time on the clock. Once there's only a couple enemies left, if they're not going to be worth your time to kill, you can feel free to move on, as we did. And watch this boost here. Sometimes if you, hit the, if you don't jump before you hit the ground there, you can take a lot of damage. Yeah, think of it this way. If it's going to take you less than two seconds to kill someone... This is a really nice cluster here of enemies. Kill that guy and then just tons of harpies. Look at that all together. Two slams with the super and that's just a huge amount of time right there. Damn, that's nice. Now this section, you can pull out your speeders here. A lot of people when they're running the strike normally just speed a bike through and you'll see someone do that. Uh, and that gets to the boss area and pulls the rest of the team forward. So what we found to sa save the most amount of time was send one person forward to get the group going and the other two stay back to kill ads. And so that way you're maximizing your time. Two people are constantly getting time up and the other person is pulling them forward. So you're not killing ads and then having to make the journey to the final boss room. You're killing ads and then pretty much as soon as you're, well, while you're killing ads, you get sucked through the, bo uh, the boss room. So again, getting the maximum return on the amount of time you spend killing. It's taking me more than two seconds here to, to kill enemies, but that doesn't really matter because I'm going to get pulled forward. So any time is good time. Oh, come on, I didn't get any healing. As you can see there, I get pulled forward because a lady has gotten through to the boss room. You reckon? Yeah, yes, juicy supers. And we get started on the boss. So as you can see, we've got just under four minutes when we start in the boss room, which doesn't seem like a whole lot of time to take out a boss. But again, every ad gives you extra time. And all three of the waves of this boss spawn ads, so you, but it's triggered by doing a certain amount of damage. So when the boss starts off, you really want to hit him hard with damage as quickly as possible. We got these ads spawning. And so we're trying to take down the boss quickly. 
once the boss takes a certain amount of damage, the adders will despawn for the floor to disappear. So communicate with your group and figure out how many, if any, of the adds you want to take on, depending on your time needs, so that you don't waste time or waste adds losing them out by all DPSing the boss and not getting any time back. You see here, we actually take a bit of uh, time to clear this first uh, wave of the boss. We get hammered a bit with the adds. Thank you. And then once the boss starts showing immune and teleports, then you know the floor is about this to disappear. Next section, we either want to kill him before the adds spawn. Now this next section, the, the boss will spawn and stay in the middle, and every now and then he will burn the floor. Now, if you DPS the boss fast enough, you can yeah, get to the so third wave of the boss him, without him having to deal with any ads. So again, that depends on your needs for time. Uh, we were just wanting to get ahead to the third round, so even though we only got 2 minutes and 45 seconds yeah, left, we were going hard on the boss yeah. DPS. Titan shields work a treat here because you don't have to get off your pillar. And he doesn't move around much, so well any grenades or, or anything that uh, can sit on the boss and do that extra damage works. And so as you see, he didn't even spawn extra adds, teleports away. We got a bit of a, a clutch revive there before we all drop down. And we're ready to go for the final boss. Final wave of the boss. So there's adds at the beginning, and then it's just you and the boss. And then after a, a certain amount of damage, he will spawn more adds. So if you're running out of time, no well, either way, you really want to focus on minutes. and DPS that boss as fast as possible so that you can A, kill him, and B, get adds into the room so that you can be doing that damage and, we started the fight and getting that time back. This first section is fairly straightforward. He just rotates around the side, so you just duck behind cover when you need to and shoot him. And then eventually his shields, uh, his head breaks off. Really watch out for those flash shots. They blind you for quite a while. And then you see here his head's broken off and adds are starting to spawn in. At this point he becomes really aggressive. He'll run up and attack towards you. Uh, you can die very quickly as you saw I did there. Lady goes in for the super. And really, if you can get that DPS nice and quick, oh, the better. You can see we still have a minute and a half misses. on the bottom of the screen, so we could die and revive uh, he's a number oh, of I'm times. Dead, dead, and we're still getting time back because we're killing the ads. Yes! Lady yes! managed to finish him off, and we finished the prestige well, with minute yeah. 45 to go. Beautifully done. So that's it, guys. It's a fairly straightforward wow. prestige. Uh, definitely easier than last week's prestige. Amazing. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, really yeah. thank you for coming and having a look, and we'll see you next time. Wow. Guys, we did it first time! Well done, everyone. First well time, first done. Time. Love it. How good is uh, that? I'm